Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So this is the fifth installment of this page here. I'm going very slow. Um, you know, I've been moving quite a bit uh, these few days. Uh, so this is, if if you don't already know, this is from the Spring Scenes Coloring Book and it's by Teresa Goodrich and from the Creative Haven series. Um, yeah. So it's by, it's from, yeah, Dover Publication, just to make things clear. So I'm going to zoom you in, I'm going to do this section here. So let's get started. I tried to, you know, use something to cover this, but it just flickers and flickers. Okay, so I hope, I hope it's all right now. Mm. Right. I am using uh, lavender. Let me check if it's recording. Yes, thank you. Uh, lavender for this because it looks a bit like this flower here. I have got a few more coloring books coming and I'm so excited. <laughs> Ah, can you imagine a grown woman getting excited over stationery and colouring books? <laughs> I don't get excited over clothes or other things. And oh, that was uh, chartreuse and kelp green. Do you get excited over? Uh, coloring books i think you do <laughs> or else you won't be watching this video uh dark green yeah we have got the same interest haven't we so watering can i don't know why Oh, uh, in my mind, watering cans will be either silver grey, uh, you know, silverish colour or tin colour or green because I've got a green watering can. <laughs> you know, just kind of a stereotypical sort of uh, in my mind. It does not have to be green. Uh, green. It's just that... Uh, in my mind it is. So this is lilac. Just gonna colour here. And there is a little bit of a, I'm gonna use a deco yellow to you know bring this all in here and just um blend everything in. Yeah, so this uh, apple here. Apple, usually I like to colour the, the base with um, yellow. <laughs> uh, now, where's my yellow? Yeah, yellow. So the base of the apple is yellow. Then, I will go over it with the uh, red, poppy red. Check, check. Yes. And then mm, this uh, chartreuse. Mm. 
here. Um, a crimson lake, a crimson red, sorry. Or you know, the apple the behind here, the bottom part. Just uh, flick it like that. There we go, and uh, this is the base of the leaf. And kelp, uh, green because it's like, you know, it's uh, been plucked. So it should be a little bit uh, withered maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit of green, yeah. yeah. Dark green. And crimson lake. Right, so this one here. Mm -mm. Or maybe I'm going to colour in the fork first. The fork, the handle, the handle, uh, red, poppy red. The garden fork. And a crimson lake. Warm grey 50. I've got a number of uh, videos to <laughs> film, but just haven't got around to doing them. Uh, now, French Grey 30. There we go. And uh, these stepping stones. Uh, French Grey 30. Uh, oh, sorry, it's not in shot. <laughs> yeah, now it is. Hopefully it is, yes. Stones here. Um, yeah, so fifth ninety sepia, uh, French grey ninety for the bottom bit for these um shadow buds here.
brown i am gonna color in sina brown because that's the only brown that i've <laughs> picked up and i saw it like you know in a in a color pencil um uh, pot and i said well works i don't really uh, you know plan my colors i just um take whatever that i think works and color well all this uh, is just going to be a very uh, roughly colored because i will you know, have to blend them all together later. Again, and touch up off camera. I think it's all right now. It does not look hanging. Uh, yeah. And this watering can here, mm, green. <laughs> because I've got a green watering can and I've got Persian green, Persian green, 101. Colored pencils, Persian green. Right, books. So I'm just going to color this, uh, the whole thing, basically just some um, green. This is the base. Of course, here I'm going to put a lighter uh, shade of green. Um, yeah. And I would uh, use a pale sage green shot, yes. And push in green. and just going to color this like this maybe this part here I am going to use some um, let me see uh, cool gray 90 warm gray 70 Ooh. warm gray 50 so I'm going to turn this thing up here. I'm just going to color it this way. And yeah, this is the part here. And maybe, hmm, let me see. Yeah, just leave it like that first. Um, some shadow bits here. Shadow bits here, shadow bits here, and shadow bits here, and shadow bits here, behind, under here, and under here. Then now I will go over the watering can with a Persian green. Slowly, slowly, very lightly, just blend this in here. Is it visible? Yes. And I'm going to add a little bit more warm grey. Just 
add till you're happy with the, the shadow bits. And yeah, so this part here, I am going to use sage, uh, pale sage, to blend it in. This part here, pale sage. And just bring it uh, down like that. So I am going to color it like that. So that uh, it shows a little bit of the shadow, warm grey, and it wouldn't look so flat and boring. Mm, maybe this part. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to darken this part here. difficult it is it <laughs> it is to color a watering can mm. you know it's uh it's mm, the curve part so yeah it's a bit tricky isn't it isn't it to get it to look like it's uh round curved we need to look, uh, make it look like that. Got to have some somewhat of a shadow and light. Uh, now this one, a uh, pale sage here, because it has got a little bit of a light here. And then here, pale sage. No, this is a uh, Persian green. <laughs> never, never, never did I thought that. <laughs> Colouring a watering can, it's uh, such... Mm. You have to, to think a bit. <laughs> and yep. And this part of the watering can I am I have to color in dark green. Wait, no, not yet. I'm talking to myself. So so sorry. Uh, I'm just uh, <laughs> thinking out loud. This part here, mm. <laughs> sage green. Sometimes I talk to myself and people think you're mad, <laughs> but I don't care. More normal is boring. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, am I right? <laughs> normal is boring. What is normal? Mm. Definition is boring. so good to be on holiday <laughs> and now I think uh, put it down hopefully I'm in focus uh, yeah Oh, who would have thought colouring a watering can would be so uh, time-consuming? And it needs quite a bit of thought as well. <laughs> so I'm going to 
blend this in with the pale sage. I had to turn the camera off. I had an enormous uh, sneeze and I sneezed twice, three times. I'm a double sneezer. <laughs> I felt the sneeze coming, so I had to turn the camera off. So sorry. And I'm back. Turn this side, this one here, like that, and color the bottom part. Yeah, I think. This is fine and I'm going to use pill sage instead of a white to you know blend it in here maybe I will try using a gray green light hmm let's try this yeah it's okay I think pill sage looks nicer make it more uh, make it a little bit brighter and I'm going to use a little bit of a dark green. Yeah. Hope you have you are enjoying watching me <laughs> coloring in a watering can. Yeah, I think it's uh it's okay. Right, I am going to stop here and I will finish up coloring in the bird and the butterfly maybe or background. Oh okay, okay. thanks for watching. Till then, take care and happy coloring. Bye bye.